what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA NES Friday the 13 Jason figure and uh, of course you know this is based on the uh, Nintendo video game version of uh, the Jason uh, character you know and I actually, actually uh, have this video game my father actually had brought me this game back when it was like original release I remember him taking me to I think like Toys R Us I believe it was and he actually had purchased the uh, Friday the 13th game on like Nintendo for me <laughs> That was like a long time ago, you know. And I know that the actual, actual cover art too, as well, they're using like the Jason from uh, Par 7, which was played by Kane Harder. My parents even took me to see that in like the, uh, the drive-in, like Friday the 13th Part 7, the New Blood, I actually went and saw that in the drive-in with my parents back in 1988 when it was original release, you know. So I think that was kind of cool too as well. But yeah, I was always planning on getting this figure, you know. I just wasn't too big on it because I didn't really like care for that, that look of Jason, you know, like the bluish or purplish color you know but I went ahead and just picked it up and there's no question I would have anyway because I had the other Jason figures from that but anyway I'm going to just get into this right now so as you can see this here's the uh, box art and it really resembles like the Nintendo uh, box too as well because right there the Nintendo will be there but it says NECA you know now if you look at it this right here says that if you play open the fab it plays like music you know authentic theme music right there like the sticker because you actually can peel that off you know it says power play right there, just like Nintendo, destroy Jason if you can, and so on, you know. Come when you turn around, it also has like a scripture on the back of two as well. And it shows like an image of like the figure, like Jason's like hideous face, his deadly weapons, and it also comes with uh, Pamela Voorhees floating head, like his mother. And of course it has a scripture too for this, it says, uh, it all takes place out of Crystal Lake. That pleasant little camp where happy children of all ages go to spend a fun-filled summer. But summer will be different. The fun will have to wait. Jason has decided to come to camp and terror is the only game they'll be playing. Don't think that hiding in a cabin or staying adrift in a canoe will keep you safe. The only way to survive the summer is to challenge Jason face to face and destroy him. Don't worry, that hasn't been done before. There was always a first time and well, not always. Now if you look closely, there's like a voice box right there too as well, as you can see right there, which plays like the actual music. Now mine, I believe the, the battery is actually going kind of bad in it, because I actually have to lay it down for it to actually be played. So as you can see, I actually have to tilt this for it to be heard for some reason. That's why I believe it's a shortage in mine. Now you probably need to change the battery. <laughs> and then it starts when you close it. And then it only plays again when you open it, you see? Close, you know. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of cool, you know. And actually, I see now it's playing with it like this, you know, as you can see. Then you can close it and then you'll open it. <laughs> uh, also, right there, I like the image right there. It looks like the actual game where you can see uh, like the character's like health and life, you know. You like the character you're playing as. And you can also see Jason in the box with Pamela Voorhees, like, you know, and the accessories. Also right there says you and your friends are dead, game over, there's an image from the game, you know, like the house, or one of the cabins, I mean. So yeah, I'm going to open this one up. Nah, I actually can't get to stop, you know. <laughs> uh, and again, you know, uh, Friday the 13th, this red is from NECA, the, the uh, video game, Jason, is actually, you know, based on like the horror franchise, Friday the 13th, which I have right here, or the first eight movies I have right here on Blu-ray, <laughs> based on this series, you know, like horror series. Now this right is the actual background diorama that comes with the figure. I can remember you can battle Jason in some of these rooms. And you can see right there like the voice box you even can hear. And there's actually like the battery too. So if you ever wanted to change this battery out, that's where you would change it out of that right there. And there as you can see is the NECA NES or Nintendo Jason figure. So what I'm going to do is actually just measure him. And he's about uh... Yeah, he's like just under eight inches, like seven inches in height. Now what I want to do is actually talk about the accessories that come with the uh, NECA NES Jason 2 as well. You also get a uh, Pamela Voorhees actual uh, 
severed head at her because you know in the video game it was actually floating she was actually like a boss in the video game so as you can see this is the actual head rail now when you look closely this is really just the um, ultimate part to Jason Voorhees like Pamela Voorhees head but they just actually uh, painted it like this uh, bluish like purplish color it's that same head you know and another thing too I think it's different and now I can see why they did this you know they actually have the head where it's on the stand whereas the part two head this real you couldn't put it on the stand you couldn't even put it on anything you just about to lay it down you know now I see why they kind of did that but this right is actually like on the stand you know so as you can see it has a hole so you actually can sit her head on on the stand so I think that's kind of cool you know makes, makes kind of sense you know <laughs> Then Jason has a uh, two like accessories too as well. He has like a, a, a axe, right as you can see. And I guess this probably is based on part three. And it also has like a he also has a machete too as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think these originally glowed at dark in the dark too. They had like different versions of these, you know, if I can remember correctly. Now of course here's the actual. Uh, the NES Jason figure to itself. Now what I want to touch on too is that you can tell right here that this is actually um, the ultimate part three Jason but actually just painted and it's like a bluish like purplish like look so it actually was part three as you can see there's some slight changes to it but you can tell this is basically like the same like mold that NECA used. They used like the part three Jason the ultimate part three for the uh, NECA NES Jason. Just giving that an example. But yeah, I must admit, this is kind of cool. And I can't believe Neko actually went to this length making like video game based characters, you know. So I think that's kind of cool, you know. And you also can still take uh, Jason's mask off too as well. You can see it. So it's the same mold as like part three as you can see. I noticed his eyes, they have like this uh, weird like color to them. I think that's kind of cool. And I'm not mistaken, like I said, I think it's actually gold in the dark. But yeah, as you can see right there, these were both like the same like modes. They actually use uh, the part, ultimate part three mode for this mode right there. See, they're the same like scuffs, just a different color. And the eyes are different too. But yeah, it's kind of cool though when you think about it, you know. I just still wasn't too big on that, that kind of look, you know. Now his hands are even green too, like that greenish bluish color, and even his shoes. Like I said, I believe it's glowed in the dark. That Jason arms, it can go up like this. So he does have like articulation, you know. And I didn't want to bend him too hard, you know. He does bend too as well as his arms, they bend. So you can bend like he has articulation in the arms. Of course, he can do the split. <laughs> now, he has articulation in his knees, but I know this figure is kind of old, so I don't want to bother it too much, you know. I just probably leave it there. But they can, like, you know, kick up and stuff like that. Because you can't even see, like, the articulation, like, you know, in his knees, or they can be bent, you know. I can see, like, the knees right there. And there's Jason with like an axe in his hand, as you can see. <laughs> and there's Jason with the uh, machete in his hand too as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is my NECA Friday the 13th uh, collection. I have your uh, quarter skill final chapter Jason right here. This is an awesome Jason figure, like I said, because of his size. And of course, there are all the other ones, you know. I normally sell them all. I guess I will. Here's like the Tuning Terrors Jason from NECA, the Ultimate Part 2 Jason, Ultimate Part 3 Jason, Ultimate Part 4, you can say Final Chapter Jason, uh, Ultimate Part 5 Jason, Dream Version, you know, Dream Sequence, and the Ultimate Part 5 Jason with War Burns, the NECA NES Jason, the Ultimate uh, Remake with 2009 Jason 513, and the Ultimate Freddy vs. Jason Jason. Oh, yeah, Ultimate Part 6 Jason, right, too, as well. Now this is an awesome collection, you know, I really am, uh, 
impressed with what NECA did with these. They did a good job at like, the Friday the 13th series. You know, I, I hope they do return because I know like, the issues with like, the lawsuit and all that is going on right now. And that's why they can't make any more new ones, you know. But I would like to see them actually continue on with the line, you know. But anyway, uh, I think this is an awesome collection. I would definitely recommend these for like a fan of, like Jason Voorhees or if you're just a fan of like, the Friday the 13th series in general, you definitely have to uh, check these out or pick these up, you know. <laughs> Okay, there's the NECA NES Jason Voorhees figure. Now, I must admit, this is a pretty cool figure, you know. And again, this is based on like, the uh, video game, which is uh, based on like, the actual horror franchise, Friday the 13th, which I have right on Blu-ray. Like I said, I remember my father actually uh, taking me to actually pick up the actual Nintendo video game when I was a kid. He actually purchased me the actual video game. I think it was like in the Toys R Us when it was originally released, like back on Nintendo, you know. <laughs> I still remember that very well. And plus, to also, like I said, this cover art, you can tell like the actual original Nintendo cover art. This is based on a uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, like Kane Harder Jason. My parents actually took me to see this one at the drive-in, like back in 1988. Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, The New Blood. I actually went and saw that in the drive-in, so that's been like a long time, you know. But yeah, um, I think this is a cool figure to have, especially if you have like the other uh, NECA, like Jason Voorhees figures, like the Ultimate ones. I would definitely recommend picking this up. You know, you got to have this in your collection, you know. And there were other like versions of this too. I think this one. I don't know if this one still does they actually glow in the dark too as well, you know. I know like the previous one did, you know. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up if you can find, you know. And also, kind of my version also played music because not all of them played the music, you know. Mine actually had the music in it too. But yeah, this is the NECA Nintendo or NES Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.